Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks on traveling with little kids across the country. Whether you're moving or going on a trip, um, these things will hopefully keep you sane and your kids happy. Okay, so I have a ton of stuff on this table. Um, now, there's a reason for everything. I don't like to waste um, room or space, so they all have a purpose. Um, so definitely if you're moving for the military and have little kids, hopefully these tips and tricks will help you. Um, so first is my cooler over there, um, and I'll show you what is in that. So in my cooler, I'm going to have items that don't necessarily need ice, but still need to be cool. Um, and that is easy. So bread, um, we have jelly, honey, peanut butter, baby carrots, apples, um, some cheese sticks, and some snack pack chips. And so that's what I'm going to be keeping in my cooler. Next, I have my snack box. This is my snack box, and you can put it in really anything. I also like to call it my sanity box because we're probably going to be getting a lot of mom I'm hungry so what I've done here is I got the big bags of animal crackers the big box of goldfish and the pretzels and I put them in snack packs I mean this thing is huge and I just did that so if they're hungry um, at a stop or in between I can literally be like okay and hand it to them and it is resealable that is why I like these I also have fruit snacks, um, gum, um, just some granola bars, um, peanut butter crackers. So if you're going on a long trip and moving, this is perfect. And the preparation will definitely save you a ton of time and money. Along with, um, I call them my fun binders for my kids. Um, in here because they're zipper binders. Now you don't have to go buy these brand new. You can literally get these at the thrift store for cheap. And so I will show you a detailed look through that right now. So in our travel um, fun cases here that I got for my kids, um, I like it because it has a zipper so it keeps everything in here. And um, what I did is I just um, got some what I did is I got a pencil bag and I'm going to put um, some colored pens in there. Um, I got some stickers that just I hook right into the um, binder so they can just flip that and just paper to color on. And I mean, my kids don't care if it's lined. And so maybe if you have um, kids that like to write stories, you can have them write stories. I also just put in here a coloring book and the crayons and let's say they want to take it inside the hotel we can just close it and zip it right up. Now when you are PCSing, that is a permanent change of station um, in military terms, um, you have to give a um, a travel plan and so what we did for our kids is we picked hotels with pools so they had something to look forward to at the end of the day and I think that's going to be um, it's really smart because not only will it get their energy out but um, it's something to look forward to and fun after a long day of traveling so we're going to have these little puddle jumpers my kids love these um, for the hotel Next is a DVD player, um, portable DVD player. This, um, just because you're going to have long days and, you know, it's okay to play one or two movies just to keep your kids happy and have them pick the movies and so give, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, have your kids pick the movies that they want and then you get to like mom approve them. So that, of course, you're not listening, you know, to something that you don't like because you're going to be driving. So that is something, especially if you're going to be on like a four to five day trip. Um, some things I like to keep in the car are definitely paper towels, Clorox wipes, um, Germex hand sanitizer, and baby wipes. Even if you do not have a baby, 
these just they're wonderful so always have these in the car for messy hands just messes anywhere it wipes up easily now for me um uh if you're PCSing, you get me to keep all your receipts. And I just get um, this little coupon book holder at the dollar store. And I just keep all my receipts in there. So anytime I get gas or hotel receipts, it all goes in here. Um, I also, this is my planner um, notebook. And you don't need something fancy. You just need a notebook and pen. And this will keep, um, like right now, I've got my list of the snacks I bought, our trip, the hotels we're going to, um, the addresses, stuff like in case um, emergency phone numbers, like it's just great to have something on hand. And so I think it's wise that you should always have a notebook with you with your plans and addresses because if you're going somewhere you don't know um, that you just, it's good to have that extra information in case your phone isn't working. And so, yeah, so I hope some of these tips and tricks um, will help you in your um, moving, um, and good luck with that. Also, um, just know, I think it's also good to mentally prepare. Know that if you have little kids, you're going to make frequent stops. Just know that, and that way you'll become less frustrated, and you'll just expect it. And if it doesn't happen, that's great. Um, also, another tip is anytime you go to a rest stop, it doesn't matter if they don't have to use the restroom, they have to at least try and go because I promise you um, five minutes later, they're going to probably go. So I, I always make my kids, um, like when we're visiting family far away and we go to a rest stop, everyone has to use the restroom, including me. And... Um, so just make that a habit, you know. Also, let them run around for five to ten minutes to get, 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 to get that energy out. Um, now, for little kids, I like to use these water bottles from the dollar store. These are awesome because they also are great in the dishwasher. That's why I like them. They don't melt. And they're just the perfect little water bottles. And um, so this is what I give my kids on the trip. Now, if you have older kids, of course, you'll probably give them a bigger water bottle. But my kids do perfect with these. And I don't do juice, nothing, just water. And so, yeah, so that's what I'll be using. Along with the kids' water bottles, I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. I do not, I think it's smart, especially if you're going to be um, in the vehicle by yourself, that you're not having a water bottle going like this looking at the road, but if you're thirsty, you can just go like this and just put it back in the cup holder. And you can probably refill up at um, gas stations, and so this is why I really like this. And a lot of this stuff, it's cheap. It doesn't need to be an expensive move, because I know, you know, we're all trying to save money these days. So definitely check out your local dollar store. Um, make it cheap. Make it easy. Um, another great thing to have in your car with you is just a ton of empty grocery sacks. Um, just keep this is a bag in your car, and um, that will make, just in case, extra garbage. Each kid can have their own garbage can. That's fine. They're cheap. They come with your groceries already. You don't need to buy anything fancy. So, yeah. So, if you have any um, tips, um, comment below and let me know, and good luck in your move. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!